and, and, but, and here comes a, the catch, though, for all this, because we want to do all this research. And yet, what has been very clearly demonstrated, and I think it, 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 there's so many uh, wonderful articles about this, is that uh, as physicists have told us that the observer gets involved with creating a reality, and the science has now revealed very clearly that the experimenter's consciousness totally is involved with the outcome of these experiments. So the concept of the idea in the old days of, oh, it's just all free experiments, it, it, now all of that has to be reconsidered in the context that the observer is altering the outcome of these experiments. And, and there's a lot of wonderful studies. Uh, I, I love one, it was, um, some people may have heard of Cleve Baxter. And uh, he had shown that, for example, that um, if you take some brine shrimp, and take them from a beaker where there's a big colony of them and then take a small sample and take that small sample and stick it into still water. That causes these brine shrimp to blow up. I mean, you know, for brine shrimp, agonizing situation. Uh, what he noticed is that when he dumped the little aliquot into the distilled water and those artemia were beginning to die, that in the original colony that he took them from, there was tremendous activity and turmoil going on at the exact moment that the other ones were dying. So he's saying, oh my goodness, these colonies are connected. And, uh, and I read about all that, that was pretty neat, but I, I read a paper that came out from uh, three young guys who were working in an official biology laboratory with chemicals and all that kind of stuff like that. And they said, they read that and they said, but we're growing brine shrimp, let's just, let's just try this. And, and it was neat because they set up just like Cleve did the experiment. And every time they, they threw that little aliquot into the still water, the original colony went crazy. And they got so excited, they said, now we, let, let's do this, uh, write it up for publication. Well, now that science got into it, they said, well, you know, to make it more regular and, you know, more, you know, can, you know, repeatable, let's set it up so a computer runs it. And so the computer would take the aliquot out at a certain time, dump it into the still water, and then the machine would read the turmoil. The moment they put it on a computer, the experiments no longer worked. That they all, and it was published that they worked when they did it, but not when the computer did it. And so then you take that, and it's interesting because in the British Medical Journal, there was a series of articles about how the pharmaceutical industry is involved with the research, and what they found out was that when the same research is carried out by independent funds versus funds from the pharmaceutical company, that when it came from the pharmaceutical company, four to five times more likely to get results that supported their interest. And they weren't cheating but they went into the issue with a total consciousness belief that they were believing what they wanted to see. And so to me, I really, it's a real correction factor I think we have to bring back in that we are not separate from our experiments and that we are, are contributing to the outcome. 